Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 10236 Southwest Susquehanna Drive here in Tualatin. We're located on the right side of the home, right by the air conditioning unit. We have a three inch ABS clean out. We're gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We do have water running. I just zeroed out there at the bottom of the clean out. Now this first joint we come to here has the gasket bulging into the pipe joint. We'll take another look at that when we come back at the end. My biggest concern there is you do have a, a obstruction in the flow line. That joint looks like it's likely still sealed off from the ground. We'll take a second look at that, but I'll probably end up recommending some kind of fix. It's under dirt right next to the clean out, so it, in the world of sewer repairs, it doesn't get a whole lot easier than that. diameter here to four inch and then to six inch concrete. That up there at the top of the pipe are just cobwebs, those aren't roots coming through. lateral connection, about 70 by feet we'll call it. We're going to shut the water off, let the whole line drain out, we'll have a better look at everything when we come back. But as far as flow goes, the line has great flow to the main lateral. We'll check the condition of the pipe here as we come back. Alright, we got the camera head located, the line terminates at the main out on southwest Susquehanna. The line shoots up the right side of the home kind of veers over. It, it, it may go barely underneath the right side edge of the driveway. That or it runs right alongside it, of it. But when locating out in the roadway is lined up right with the right side edge of the driveway. That's if you're looking at the front of the house from the street. So there's a couple joints I noticed here in the concrete pipe that have some substance sticking through them. I'll, I'll point one out here in a moment. The, the hard part is, is, is telling the difference between whether it's dirt or pipe grout. They look extremely similar to each other, like that right there. It could be dirt, it could be pipe grout. I, in my opinion, I've got to see a couple more signs, like either water dripping through the pipe, earthworms crawling around, something like that. But these are this is not an issue that is affecting functionality, flow, or anything of the sort, and it's not letting sewage escape the sewer line. In worst case scenario, when you get a really heavy rainstorm and the, and the ground gets saturated with water, you can end up with some groundwater dripping through the pipe, but unless I can catch that or have really obvious signs that, that joint is truly open to the ground, I, I do not recommend repairs on them. I don't like to to recommend repairs on things I can't confirm with, with certainty. Anyway. You know, the concrete pipe drains beautifully. No standing water. Very clean. turn right there is where the line kind of rounds the front right corner of the house as it makes its way around there. And we're going to go back here and take a look at this, this fern coat. It looks like it's bulging through the joint. I'm not seeing any signs that's open to the ground there. It's sticking out a little bit into the flow line, but I, I don't see any real debris collected on it. And I don't see signs that joint is open to the ground. I, I, I wish it wasn't that way. I'm kind of tempted to recommend a repair on it, but 
I, I like to at least see evidence of flow problems before recommending repair, especially a house that's been here for this long. Generally, if they're causing blockages and flow problems consistently, you're going to have a lot of buildup evidence of that. And I don't see any signs that joint is open to the ground. But this time, I'm not recommending a repair on that. I, in my opinion, I'm not seeing enough signs of flow problems and or signs that the joint is open to the ground. So one of those things that it, it, at this point is more of a technical observation. Kind of wish it wasn't that way, but in my opinion, that's not worth doing a repair on at this point. So we have good flow of the main lateral connection. Both the ABS and concrete portions of the line appear to be in good condition. The sewer line is functioning properly at this time. 